what is the value of k? Given this equation, k equals square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus until infinity, then our goal in this question is to solve for the value of k. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video, now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so given this equation k equals square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus until infinity, the goal is to find the value of k. Now, one thing is for sure, k here is a real number because the value of k is this nested radical right over here. And also, we can approximate the value of this k. First, k must be greater than 0, of course. And also, k must be less than square root of 7. So it is greater than 0 but less than square root of 7. Now, we will use this fact to answer this question. All right. Now, let's begin. First, let's square on both sides. If we do that, we get k squared equals 7. The square root cancel out. 7 minus square root of 7 plus square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus until infinity. Now, let's have this part. Square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus square root of 7 minus etc. etc. Take note that this is the same thing as the value of k. So we can rewrite this thing as k. So we have k squared equals 7 minus square root of 7 plus k. So this part becomes k. And let's focus on this result. Now what we're going to do is to subtract 7 on both sides. And then to eliminate the square root, let's square on both sides. And if we do that, k squared minus 7 squared, this will give us k raised to the fourth power minus 14k squared plus 49. And negative square root of 7 plus k raised to the power of 2, this will give us 7 plus k because negative times negative is positive. And let's focus on this result. Now, let's subtract 7 on both sides and subtract k on both sides or simply equate this equation to 0. So have k raised to the fourth power minus 14k squared minus k plus 42 equals 0. Now the question, how do we get the value of k given this quartic equation? Because k, the highest power of k is 4. Alright, so to answer this, what we're going to do is to use the continuous synthetic division. And in order to use the synthetic division, we want the coefficient of k cubed. So let's insert k cube. And we are now going to use the continuous synthetic division. So let's have a small box. Now rewrite the coefficient of k. Let's start with the k raised to the part power, which is 1. k cubed is 0. k squared is negative 14. k is negative 1. Constant is 42. And we will use the rational root theorem. So we need the factors of positive 42 and here they are positive or negative 1 positive or negative 2 positive or negative 3 until positive or negative 42 and we will choose a value from these factors and we want the remainder be equal to 0 now let's choose 1 let's choose 2 why not so let's use synthetic division bring down 1 1 times 2 is 2 0 plus 2 is 2 2 multiplied by 2 becomes 4. Negative 14 plus 4 is negative 10. Negative 10 times 2 is negative 20. Negative 1 plus negative 20 is negative 21. Negative 21 times 2 is negative 42. And 42 plus negative 42 is definitely equal to 0. Great. It means that the remainder is 0. Or simply, 2 is a 0 of this quartic polynomial. And k minus 2 is a factor of this quartic equation. And now at this point, we will continue this process because we will use the continuous synthetic division. So again, we will choose some factors of positive 42 
and our goal is the remainder becomes zero. So you can choose any number from this, and let's choose negative three. Why not? All right. So bring down one. One times negative three. This becomes negative three. Two plus negative three is negative one. Negative one times negative three is positive three. Negative ten plus three is negative seven. Negative seven times negative three is positive twenty one. And negative twenty one plus twenty one is definitely equal to zero. So the remainder again is zero. It follows that negative three is also a zero of this quartic equation. And k plus 3 is a factor of this quartic equation. Now, we found two factors, k minus 2, k plus 3. We also found two zeros, 2 and negative 3. But we know we have four zeros for values of k that will make this equation equal to 0. And what is the other factor? The other factor must be equal to this part. So we have 1k squared minus 1k minus 7. So these three, k minus 2, k plus 3, k squared minus k minus 7 are the factors of this quartic equation. So if we multiply this, this is the same thing as k to the fourth power plus 0k cubed minus 14k squared minus k plus 42. And also, given this factor, we can now find the zeros of this quartic equation. The first one, k equals 2, we found this one, k equals negative 3, and we have here a quadratic, so we will use the quadratic formula. So k equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And the value of a is the coefficient of k squared, which is equal to 1. Now the value of b is the coefficient of k, which is negative 1. And the value of c, or simply the constant term, is negative 7. Now, let's simplify. Negative of negative 1, this is just positive 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Negative 4 multiplied by negative 7 is positive 28. 1 plus 28 is 29. So, k, the other values of k, the two other values, must be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 29 all over 2. Now, we will use the fact that k is greater than 0 but less than square root of 7. So k cannot be a negative number. So the negative result must be disregarded. So which one of these two values of k is the true value of k? Now we know for sure 2 is between is greater than 0 and less than square root of 7. But how about this one? 1 plus square root of 29 all over 2. So first, let's approximate this value. 1 plus square root of 29 over 2 must be greater than to 1 plus square root of 25 all over 2 because 29, this 29 is greater than 25. Now, we choose this number because square root of 25 is just 5. And 1 plus 5, simplify, 1 plus 5 is 6. And 6 over 2 is 3. So this value, 1 plus square root of 29 all over 2, is greater than 3 and this square root of 7 is less than 3 therefore this value is outside the range of k so we cannot accept this value also even though this is a positive value for k therefore the only value of k that satisfies this condition is k equals 2 and that is our answer to this question Therefore, given this k equals to square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus until infinity, then the value of k is 2. And as always, we are done.